in the collaborative design studio, which unites three disciplines, um, interior design, industrial design, and digital design, we were able to create our own superheroes this year. Um, the interior designers were in charge of creating the superhero layer, the superhero hideout or the secret headquarters. Industrial design was taking care of props and prosthetics that will give our hero the superpowers and the digital designers were in charge of telling the story in a video format. The idea for the superhero studio really came to me uh, last year when I was running a studio on circuses and one of the teams decided to create a superhero circus. And I started realizing that this topic of superheroes really excites across all the different disciplines and also across all age groups. And it was a fantastic way to really try and test the collaboration, which is the most important part about the studio, the collaborative studio. A really great opportunity that the students were able to take advantage of is that um, New York City is very close and Comic-Con was being held right at the beginning of the semesters. So the students were able to go and visit experts and do market research, which really influenced their design projects. And it was fantastic to get feedback from experts in the area. Superheroes really excite across all different disciplines and I was very lucky to get a whole selection of external critics to come into the studio and help the students with the creation of the superhero. So for example, we had a therapist coming in giving our superheroes a psychoanalysis because uh, a lot of them were rather troubled when we were looking at the origin stories that the students created. I also had uh, filmmakers, writers, and all kinds of other disciplines coming in in order to help the students along with their design. Uh, and it was actually quite easy to find all these experts because everybody was very excited about the topic and were very happy to come here to NGIT. This year, this year we took the collaborative design studio focusing on superheroes and I really liked the working together as a team. So. I love the part where we just had to create a new superhero from scratch and we could pick any power he wanted and it sort of made us be so creative more than other studios and then as an interior designer I got to go really, um, you know, it was crazy with my ideas and I got to explore so many aspects that I couldn't in other studios so that was what I liked. Yeah, I think the best part of the studio was that uh, we got to collaborate with two other disciplines and uh, it brought a lot to the storytelling of our characters. And be being that it's a fictional character, it's a superhero, you really get to explore something else that you really don't get to in other studios, like uh, an art factory or anything. You go crazy with your ideas, pretty much. Um, the best part was um, designing with um the superhero, his personality, with um, connecting it with his space. Um, that was interesting and that was challenging at the same so time. Maybe her power isn't so much I can control nanobot technology because maybe that's a skill that we can learn. Maybe there's something else in the backstory about her innately being able to communicate.